2,000 years ago, humans built an island. 500 years ago, it was abandoned. 230 years ago, an alien ventured her way into the stars. And in the present, their paths collided. In the wake of her crash landing, she set out to learn more about this place, about Earth. The show you are about to see contains mature themes, deep lore, and advice that should never be followed. Viewers under 18, be advised. And for the rest of you, welcome. I am your host, Captain Fernia Galley, and this is The Pro with Fernia Galley. Now, to introduce my guest. Nappy, that's your cue. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nephilia. I'm a nymph VTuber. Uh, yeah, I play a lot of variety games, including RPGs, and for whatever reason, horror, because I love making myself suffer. <laughs> it's pleased to meet everyone. Yiggy? Oh, is that me? Is that me? Is, is that, mm -hmm. that my cue? Yeah. No? Okay, yeah. cool. Yo, what's up? I'm Yegi Evergreen. <laughs> I'm your neighborhood friendly pixie mech pilot uh, here at the Probe. And yeah, let's see. I do a lot of mostly art streams. I do uh, occasionally gaming streams. And uh, yeah, I just do whatever it feels like. I feel like on, on my stream. Hmm. All right. I'm a awesome. variety streamer, I suppose. Aw, that's cute. But it's nice to meet everyone here. Um, so just some quick notes before we start the show. You guys have consented to be on the program. You've discussed what your limits are with me. I don't recommend people do a program like this unless they get consent. So can we just hear it verbally so everyone knows? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, I, I have strict procedures. And one other thing I want to cover before we get started I have redeems now. The redeems are active. There are a few that have specific notes for what the redeem does during the probe. And I'd like you to make sure that you read the notes carefully. We will refund redeems. Um, and if you want the best chance of your redeem being read out loud or uh, used, do it in the second half of the hour of each interview portion. We all good on the rules? Yeah. Hey, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, if someone mm -hmm. redeems, yeah, should we all yeah for the for for the, so can we get like a yes. can we get a three three and one yeah for the yes. three, three, three yeahs for the, for the price of one? Of course, that is up to cool. you guys. That is not my thing to control. Cool, cool. Okay, so we're gonna get straight into the advice portion. I have picked up questions from all over the galaxy. And I'm here to answer them today in the only way I know how. Dear Fernia, I've had a problem with condiments for as long as I can remember. Whenever I squeeze the mustard bottle, a little mustard stays behind and starts to get caked on. My question is, how can I get the mustard stains out of my mustard bottle? I've tried a lot of different closing methods and none of them seem to work. How can I keep my condiment jars clean? Find Clean Ketchup in Canada. So, dear Clean Ketchup in Canada, I have had this exact problem for the longest time, and I have just learned that the method to deal with this is to kind of dig your finger around inside a lid and just lick it off like that. It's clean. I mean, your mouth is probably the cleanest place of your body. Um, I only put food into it. And Mustard is food, so it stands to reason I should just be able to do this anytime I want. But I, I do think that there is an advantage to not using a mustard bottle. Have you heard of mustard jars, Nuffy? Yeah. Yeah, it's like you get a you get a little knife, you dip it on there, and then you lick the knife. That's how I do it with all of my condiments. It's the most effective way to take a bite. I mean, because 
if you put it on the the sandwich, it gets all mixed in with the other condiments, right? Yeah. I have I have been meaning to find the best condiments. Have you have you tried barbecue sauce? Does anyone here like barbecue sauce? Yeah, I've used barbecue sauce before. Yeah, on what? What's the what's the wildest thing you've used barbecue sauce on? The wildest thing? Yes, the wildest thing. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese with barbecue sauce actually sounds genuinely good. I oh, tried... it is. It's really good. That does sound good. Yeah, I tried barbecue sauce and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Do not recommend. <laughs> You know what else is a you, you know what's a good like barbecue sauce tip um when you're making tuna fish sandwich instead of using like mayonnaise you can use barbecue sauce you got a pretty good like oh tuna God. fish barbecue sandwich i hate mayo so this works great for me i love this advice <laughs> um but for real like i i love condiments um but my favorite condiment i think is the pickle like relish everything like that and speaking of jars, everyone here has brought a, a pickle jar to die. You've probably been wondering why I asked you to bring a pickle jar in a cup. Mm -hmm. You you said specifically mm -hmm. a pickle jar in a shot glass. <laughs> well, it's not my fault if you didn't bring a shot glass. I have a shot glass with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I just think that this would be a good opportunity for us to taste the water. It's like okay. wine, right? <laughs> It is, it's a mix of vinegar, salt, sugar, and like various spices. Yeah, because let me get this right. You actually make pickles. Is this yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make yes, pickles I, at home? I just make pickles at home. Um, mostly in my case, it was out of necessity after the plum incident. The plum oh incident? <laughs> yes, the plum incident. Are you just going to leave us hanging? Uh, yeah, let me, let me, let me set the mood here, let me set the mood here. So, my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, bless her heart, uh, she, she owns a plum tree, but has not been, like, maintaining it at all for, like, the last couple years. And so we went over and, um, like, a branch nearly fell on someone. And that, and so, you know, neighborhood's like, yo, you gotta trim this out. And so, um, I go over because, you know, dutiful son-in-law I, 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 that, I, that I be, uh, I go and um, see, and I'm like, okay, it can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. And then, like, there's this monstrosity of, of a tree. Like, I have to bring in, like, the heavy, the heavy machinery in my mech and, like, just, like, tear down these branches and, like, tear down these branches as much as I can. And uh, that resulted in us getting a lot of, a lot of plums. I have to... I have to ask. I really do have to ask. I'm having trouble opening a pickle jar. That's why I'm hopping in and out of my body. Um, <laughs> so, so, are these like the same size tree as your Mac? Uh, bigger, bigger. They're okay. So either your tree is small or that tree is huge. That tree is huge. I have plums like. The amount of plums I could count equal, it, it could only be counted within gallons. I had okay. gallons of plums. And you have to figure out a way to store them all before they went bad, like yes. right away. Yes, yes, and so I like pickled a lot of them. And so there we go. I have, that's that's where I have this. Let me, uh, oh, it's it's been sealed. I sealed it myself. And so now I hear the pop sound from this fresh, from this fresh pickle jar. Let's see, let's see here. Oh wait, no, no, shit. <laughs> this didn't have a good pop sound. Oh no, oh no. Did I not seal this properly? Shit. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> Is it safe to drink? I say you should drink it anyways. Yeah, it should be all right. It smells good though. It smells really good. So this, you're... Uh, this is like a blend of uh, cinnamon, allspice, coriander. Oh, that uh, sounds good. Yeah, I think those are the spices I use. I'm gonna try one of these actually. I mean, I haven't actually like tried one of these uh, these plums. Do you actually have advice for opening up? Oh, pickle jar! I got it. That was nice and satisfying. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice pickle. That's a nice pickle plum. Eating the pickle directly, you're supposed to drink it. I know, but I wanted to eat one of the plums too. <laughs>
Does the plum juice taste good, even though it's like pickle pickle water? Um, I mean, like, it. I mean, you have like places that like pickle uh, plums. It has more of like a savory tone to it, and like it has a little. I you use you use plums that are like plums before they ripen. So it's like these are like green when they're green, and so it has like a little bit of like a sour taste to them. It's nice. It's nice. Hmm. Nafi, what what pickles did you bring? Uh, I brought hamburger dill slices because my other ones were out of date, which is kind of depressing. Wait, that's the brand? Hamburger dill slices? Uh, it's a, like an organic brand. really have an act brand name. They're just generic. Yeah, slice these, are, these are generic pickles. Okay. Yeah, I nothing, nothing fancy to... like pickling my own pickles. I need to figure out how to get this without like getting like a big chunk of like all spice in here. What's... But doesn't that just make it better? Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. I mean like because I I I went to the store the other day and I didn't know we had like extra jars of pickles already. And I just got myself oh. Mount Olive kosher dill spears. Oh that's that's a good brand. Mount Olive? Yes. I'm not I'm not a pickle connoisseur. You're gonna have to inform me. I'm not from this earth. Oh yeah, that's a no. That's a pretty good good brand. Oh. I've so before we have all yeah. we have all poured some pickle juice into our glasses. Yep, I have poured pickles and pickle juice into my glass. Yep. yep. Since I went last, I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I'm not done! There's still more drinks to do! Uh, Nappy, you're next. Oh, okay. Alright, we go. keep going until this glass is empty. Not the jar, just the glass. Right. Yeah, not bad. You, you just tank that? That's not fair. I did. Well, let me give you a little backstory. I actually pour pickle juice on my salad, so <laughs> I'm kind of used to eating it. <laughs> oh my god, like for real? I, I recommend it, it actually tastes good, yeah. yeah it's like adding vinegar. Yeah, instead of, yeah. yeah, it's like adding some vinegar, like I, a vinegary, like balsamic. I do know? like Yeah, instead of dressing, it. I dress it with pickle juice. Yeah, oh. that makes a lot of sense, actually. So you- <laughs> 100%. So we have one person who's built Iocane powder immunity, and the other person who made their own pickles so they could cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, it's your turn, Ying. All right, cool. Let's let's chug this down. All right. Yo, actually, that's not that bad. Am I the like, only one who has awful pickles? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, I do got like the nice little sour plum taste to mine because these plums have been like soaking inside this juice for about like a month now. And like you got a little like nice salty flavor to it too. Oh, it's good. Okay. It's good. It's nice and refreshing. Okay, second drink. Let's see how far I can get. Right, should we, should we, should we, the should seeds went down. Should we? We can put bets on like. Do, let's play. We can play a game of poker and then put bets on. Like, <laughs> we can just bet like shots of uh pick of like pickle juice. We death are just like oh, rolling gonna... down high numbers. We're like, yeah, this sounds good. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm almost out of juice now, though. I mean, I'm gonna have to pour some more for that. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly how, finished uh, mine. This is oh how Casey uh, and Nick hustle you out. <laughs> hustle you super hard. Right. Like, I no. feel, I feel like I was trying really hard to make something that would make you guys go, oh no, and instead I'm the one getting bullied. <laughs> I just got card sharked. Can we get an F in the chat for Fern? Yes, yeah, she tried. Yeah, she tried. She tried really hard. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I have to finish the rest of it. Do you have any left, Nappy, or did you just like down it all? I'm currently eating the pickles out of the empty uh, glass now. Yeah, I dumb all of mine. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I guess I just have to force myself to finish this. Hey, I'll uh, pour another one for myself and then I'll join you after this. Uh, all the residue is at the bottom. No. It's gonna be awful. 
You know, also like um, it is like a thing that they suggest to drink. Like uh, if you're like if you're exercising a lot and you just had uh, a, like a big workout, like pickle juice is supposed to be like really good for that. Oh uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to get keep those, that in mind. Get those uh, electrolytes in your body. Cause I used to exercise twenty hours a week. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, Not so I mean, much during the summer. I mean, you could just like take some like a defibrillator and like shock voltage into your body for those awesome electrolytes. Uh -huh. But you know, like who has access to a defibrillator? You know, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. You can do it. I believe in you. One more drink and it's done. The deed is Bottoms done. Up, and one more go. drink. Bottoms up. Cheers. All right. Here's this is shot number two. <laughs> shot number two here for me. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate both of you. <laughs> I hate both of you so I much. I posted pictures in my Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Fun has left the palace. Only rage <laughs> remains. Only rage remains. <laughs> We all good? We all drank our juice? Yep. I spilled yep. it all over myself as well. So I get to oh. smell like pickles for the rest of the episode. Cool. Let's see. <laughs> oh, you don't have a hydrate redeem. I do. Oh, so just don't go I? in your chat and just like do like oh. a hydrate redeem. Yeah, go hydrate. Oh. I should add a hydrate redeem. Yeah, wash that, that wash that pickle juice down. Yeah, yeah let's just that hydrate down. everybody. All right. I thought I thought for sure I did. <laughs> I might have also turned it off because it would get in the way of the show. Everyone will spam hydrate. <laughs> I've seen Nuffy's streams. I know it happens. Oh my goodness! Yes, they tried to drown me. <laughs> you guys know you can put a cooldown on that, right? Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. This cooldown, mythical cooldown, you speak of. It's it's nice blockers so that like you can only have like one redeem per minute or something like that of set thing per minute. Okay, uh, second question of the day. You carry VT asks, what's your idea of a perfect date? Now I know what my idea of a perfect date is because I just had it. <laughs> I uh, I came to your planet. And even though I'm stuck on this remote island, um, there's like a COVID warning in place, so I went and got my shot. Um, I scheduled a date for the same day. I'm really irresponsible because I passed out immediately after taking it. But, oh no! But oh my no. day, my day was so nice. They scooped me up, practically carried me all the way back to my ship. And it was just, I I felt like a princess getting carried the whole way. I was loopy and sleepy and I even got ramen out of it. That's my Ooh. ideal date. Hey, that's Ooh. a win right there. What kind of ramen? What kind of ramen? Um, mushroom ramen. Ooh, Ooh mm -hmm. that sounds tasty. Yes, it does. So what about you two? What's your idea of an ideal date? Okay, so. For me, an ideal date is a date that does not leave the house. Uh, Heck yes. That's the best date. That's the best date, okay? Um, cause, cause when you go out like on a fancy date, like fancy date night, especially if it's like on the, like I, I'm the type of person who doesn't like to bother anyone. And that includes restaurant wait staff, mm. you know? So, or, or people cooking for me. So you know what, I'm like, I'm just gonna cook I'm gonna cook for myself. I'm gonna cook for me and the missus. Is that, is I, that I, the excuse make, we're going for? <laughs> yeah, and make a nice romantic dinner, you know? And then we watch Netflix, we watch anime. So that's like my best night ever. Yeah, well. I don't have to go out, don't have to talk to people. It's great, it's just us and each other. That's my perfect date. That is extremely antisocial, Nephilia. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, mine's kind of the same way. Um, mm. I would prefer to have a nice meal at home and just like sit on the couch and play like a co-op game or something. Mm. You know, 
Like that's that's what I enjoy personally, just like getting to know the other person on a, a personal level. And the best way to do that is by kicking their ass in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Well, hopefully oh. your potential date partners <laughs> are listening here to the IA. Oh, oh I'm actually, good. I've already had my perfect date. <laughs> oh, I have a I have a nice like round two that like is also equally as terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, another second second best romantic date is when you get snowed in, like mm -hmm. because of like weird snow weather, and you have to shovel the driveway together. That's Date, that's awesome date number two because you're like <laughs> toiling together in, uh, in this, suffering like, and sweating suffering, in the cold. Ba basically a date in the cold. all the elements of a date suffering pain snow and then and then and then when you're when the missus says why are we doing this and i'm like too late you already married me you already said yes <laughs> gotta you gotta <laughs> Yeah, speaking of marriage, though, that's a good transition to our next question. So number three asks, would it be strange if at a necromancer's wedding, during the vows, when they say, till death do us part, the necromancer just says, nope, like, would that be endearing to their partner or scary? And I have to say, that sounds really endearing. <laughs> Very weird. No, I mean, I kind of agree with you there. I mean, like, they're they're a necromancer, they so live they forever. deal in death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's their thing. Yeah. So, like, in my opinion, necromancer's not wrong, but it's a ceremony, and like, you know, it, it's kind of a weird place to mention. Like, you can mention that. You can mention that, like, you know, before the fact, after the fact. And I'm pretty sure that there's like a rehearsal doing this, and the necromancer <laughs> only takes it into like now to like actually say that like come on come on yeah like okay. time and place time and place but time and place for, uh, for anything you know i'm just i'm just really into yonders i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie i no, really I'm like yeah i like this is this is yig cancel cancelable offense but i do not get yanderes yanderes freak me out i'm like oh no it's... oh no get away it's like having someone who will want to is, I believe, the usual thing that people like it for. I have a whole bunch of complicated, really personal reasons that I like yonders and why I don't think I'd actually want one in real life. <laughs> but it happens. It happens a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I think, I think, yeah, like when you're, when you're... When you're not dating and you're like, you, and then you see like a yander, uh, like you know, the, I, there's like an appeal to yander. I, I get the appeal. I get the appeal. You want someone who's like 100% into you, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But but that's a little bit too much. It, like I'd be I'd be questionable if someone was like, why are you like I'd be like, why are you 100% into me? I'm not that entertaining. I, like I'm not that. Great. I mean, how do they even make the time? As you yeah. ask in this next question by uh, Yogi Evergreen asks, who has the time to remove the seeds from peppers? Nobody has yeah, who, time in this day and age. Who has time to remove the seeds in the pepper? And you're removing the best part of the seed. You're removing the best part of the pepper, which are the seeds. I mean, you have to remove them if you're making stuffed peppers though, right? Like, can nah, we agree? Nah. Nah, you you uh you you take those seeds, you add them back into the stuffing, and then oh. it's all it's in there still. That actually sounds pretty delicious. I tried making some um some stuffed peppers. That was an experience. Mm -hmm. It will forever live in the bottom of my gut in pain. <laughs> oh, was it too hot? Was it too hot? No, I was um a little burnt. Um, a oh, no, oh, little no, sticky, oh, no. we kind of messed up uh, putting it all together. <laughs> I okay. love stuffed peppers, I just can't even. Mm -hmm. Why did you, uh, what did you stuff them with? Um, vegetables. Vegetables. Cool. Vegetables, yes. I stuffed them with vegetables and cheese and I want to say rice. I think it was rice. I hope it was rice. You hope it was rice. Oh my. Onions, caramelized oh, yeah. onions. <laughs> yeah, it was 
It was, it had the markings of something that could have been good. <laughs> there was an effort made. We made a valiant effort. We tried super hard on that one. I think I flunked that at the last moment. I'm it's sorry. Fine, fine. There's always try attempt number two. Yeah, maybe next time, um, get it right. We have another question. This one from Pat Amra, they ask, Hey, do you mind if I kill you? I, I've been paid a lot of money, please. I think this rolls back to the Yandere question, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're, uh, you, I'm sorry. You're dealing with a professional uh, ex-shonen protagonist. You're gonna have to deal with me fighting back. And yeah. I may or may not use an ultimate move. <laughs> I mean, but they asked politely, should you just roll over? Yeah, but you know, if it's their profession, you know, if it's their profession, right? Like they have to have a professional attitude with it, mm -hmm. attitude about that. They can't just like, like they're being paid for a service and they have to be able to <clears throat> provide said service. Yeah, but what if they were cute? Hmm. Hmm. Nuffy, wait a moment. I, I might go easy on them then. I might go a little bit easy on them, but they still have to do it. Cute assassin wanders into your forest, starts setting fires. I mean, I would, I would have to take them out. They can't set my forest on fire. But they're know, cute. That's like, okay, that's that's a that's that's a different case then, because now they're getting like collateral damage involved. Mm -hmm. and a professional would only kill you, right? Right. But they're asking really nicely. I mean, they could try, but I'm immortal, so it's not going to do anything for them. <laughs> How well, immortal are you? I guess we shall ask that in the next segment. Let's move on yes. over, Nephi. It is your time to shine. Yeah. 